It doesn't matter how far you might rise. At some point, you are bound to stumble because if you're constantly doing what we do, raising the bar, if you are constantly pushing yourself higher, higher, the law of averages that you will at some point fall. And when you do, I want you to know this, remember this, there is no such thing as failure. Failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. Now, when you're down there in the hole, it looks like failure. And when you're down in the hole, when that moment comes, it's really okay to feel bad for a little while. Give yourself time to mourn what you think you may have lost. But then, here's the key. Learn from every mistake. Because every experience, encounter, and particularly your mistakes, are there to teach you and force you into being more of who you are. And then figure out what is the next right move. And the key to life is to develop an internal, moral, emotional GPS that can tell you which way to go. The challenge of life I have found is to build a resume that doesn't simply tell a story about what you want to be, but it's a story about who you want to be. It's a resume that doesn't just tell a story about what you want to accomplish, but why. A story that's not just a collection of titles and, and positions, but a story that's really about your purpose. Because when you inevitably stumble and find yourself stuck in a hole, that is the story that will get you out. What is your true calling? What is your dharma? What is your purpose? Our hearts are broken, but our spirits are not. I'm gonna tell them what it's like to find a conversation about change that is love, and I'm gonna do that without fighting them. You simply cannot demonize or vilify someone who doesn't agree with you, because the minute you do that, your discussion is over, and we cannot do that any longer. The problem is too enormous. There has to be some way that this darkness can be banished with light. Maybe you agree with these beliefs, maybe you don't. Maybe you care about these issues, or maybe there are other challenges that you are passionate about. Maybe you want to make a difference by serving in government. Maybe you want to launch your own television show. Or maybe you simply want to collect some change. The point is, your generation is charged with this task of breaking through what the body politic has thus far made impervious to change. Each of you has been blessed with this enormous opportunity of attending this prestigious school. You now have a chance to better your life, the lives of your neighbors, and also the life of our country. When you do that, let me tell you what I know for sure. That's when your story gets really good. When you learn, teach. When you get, give. That, my friends, is what gives your story purpose and meaning. So you all have the power in your own way to develop your own angel network. And in doing so, your class will be armed with more tools of influence and empowerment than any other generation in history. I did it in an analog world. I was blessed with a platform that at its height reached nearly 20 million viewers a day. Now here in a world of Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and Tumblr, you can reach billions in just seconds. You will find true success and happiness if you have only one goal. There really is only one, and that is this, to fulfill the highest, most truthful, expression of yourself as a human being. You want to max out your humanity by using your energy to lift yourself up, your family, and the people around you. Don't ask yourself what the world needs. Ask yourself what makes you come alive and then go do that. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. Knowing who you are, 
being able to answer this question, who am I and what do I want? Who am I really? My answer is I am God's child. I am that which is born of all that is. A spiritual being having a human experience. Come trailing the breath of the ancestors yet, but trailing the breath of the angels. And understanding that because I am connected to the source of all that is, all that is possible is possible for me. That's who I am. And what do I want? I don't want to just be successful in the world. I don't want to just make a mark or have a legacy. The answer to that question for me is, I want to fulfill the highest, truest expression of myself as a human being. I want to fulfill the promise that the Creator dreamed when he dreamed the cells that made up me. What do I want? You must have some kind of vision for your life. Even if you don't know the plan, you have to have a direction in which you choose to go. Always do the right thing. Be excellent. People notice. Think of how you notice. You go to Taco Bell, somebody gives you an extra napkin and some sauce. You notice. You want to go back to that person. Because even at Taco Bell, excellence shows itself. Be excellent. Let excellence be your brand. talks about building a brand. I never even knew what that was. What I recognize now is that my choice to in every way, in every example, in every experience, to do the right thing and the excellent thing is what has created the brand. When you are excellent, you become unforgettable. People remember you, you stand out. Regardless of what it is, you become an unforgettable woman. And that is what we all want. We want to be unforgettable and not forgettable. So doing the right thing, even when nobody knows you're doing the right thing, will always bring the right thing to you. I promise you that. Why? Because the third law of motion is always at work. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That is so true in all of our lives. Everything you even try to do to me, already done to you. So you don't have to worry about revenge or getting back at somebody, making sure they pay. You just have to do the right thing and the right thing will follow you even when people don't support it. You will create a vessel of service for yourself first, because you have to honor yourself first. You have to give to yourself first, otherwise you have nothing to give away. You will create a vessel for yourself, for your family, your community, and the world. It will lead you not just to a, a, a gifted life and a rewarding life that fills you up, but a sweet life. That's what you want. You want the sweetness. You want it to be so sweet, so that even when the storm...
come and they will, you'll know this too shall pass. And you shall not be moved because you know who you are. From time to time, you may stumble, fall. You will for sure count on this. No doubt. You will have questions and you will have doubts about your path. But I know this, if you're willing to listen, to be guided by that still small voice that is the GPS within yourself, to find out what makes you come alive, you will be more than okay. You will be happy, you will be successful, and you will make a difference in the world.